much can a no-code app developer earn? You know, a lot of the entrepreneurs who come to us for help in building their apps, they know that their one single app idea that they currently have is not a definite thing. There's no guarantee that their app idea is going to be successful, right? That's kind of just the way it works. You do your validation, of course, but ultimately knowing that you might need to pivot. And so in doing that, you know, when an entrepreneur is building their app and building their skill set, if they end up deciding to pivot with that app idea, well, in the meantime or on the side, they might offer app development services now that they know how to build apps. We've seen some people become app developers just because they become so obsessed with building apps, which we can obviously understand. A lot of developers try to price their services or the apps that they've built based on time. So this development project is going to take X amount of hours and I charge X amount of dollars per hour. Therefore, it's pretty simple math to figure out how much a project is going to cost. You can use your imagination or maybe just a calculator and kind of do the math on, you know, if you took on 40 hours of development work every single week for a year, and you charged $75 an hour, $100 an hour, $200 an hour, whatever you can think of, then again, some easy math and you'll come up with how much you could make based on that. And I should say that that $75 to $200 per hour range, none of that is crazy. Some people charge a lot less than that. Some people charge a lot more than that. Really, it also depends on your own skill set as a developer. If you have a really phenomenal skill set, you're going to want to charge more. And, you know, that's going to mean you're building apps faster. And so maybe, maybe the project length is actually compressed by a lot. Well, you shouldn't be charging less for that. You should really be charging more for that because the faster someone gets the end result, the more valuable that is because the more time they have to now get that end result to their users and start building up their revenue. The way I prefer to think about how much you could make as a developer is really based on the outcome that you're selling. So ideally you become specialized in some way. Maybe you work with a very specific type of person building a very specific type of app. So you're hyper specialized, you niche down. Now, when you do that, that means you're really, really good at one or a few core things. So you can charge a premium for that. A lot of people go the opposite way. They try to offer every single service under the sun and become that full service, full package service provider, which is fine because it kind of feels like, well, you're casting a wider net, you're gonna get more business because of it. But think about your own capacity to be able to build your skill set in all of those different areas. You're going a mile wide, but only an inch deep. Now, I would rather go a mile deep and an inch wide because again, that's where the premium comes in because the end result is more valuable to your client or to your customer. So how much can an app developer make? Well. You're probably asking this question really looking for a number, but there are lots of numbers that that could be used as an answer. You know, you can make very little as an app developer if you follow all the wrong best practices, follow all the right best practices and deliver phenomenal results for your customers and your clients. And you can make a really decent living even as a solo app developer without a big team behind you.